Artie, I don't think this is working. I mean, we've been at it for two days. No. Gil, you just have to stay positive. People care about this stuff. They just don't want to seem uncool. They'll come around. You'll see. I don't know, man. I don't even think they believe us. I mean, aliens? Gil, it's real. I saw them. They abducted me, and they experimented on me. Well, I know that. They have to believe us. How could they not believe us? They just don't understand us, buddy. You just want to call it a day? Yeah. I have to head home early today anyways. See you later, man. See ya. I believe you. What? what? How'd you get in here? Do I know you? I believe you. You, you do? Yes. The aliens, they're here. Were you abducted too? Tell me! Not here. Not now. Okay, fine. Will you come to the meeting then? Will it be safe? Yes. Then I'll be there. Why are you wearing that funny hat? It's supposed to protect you from the electromagnetic fields that the government manipulates and then sends out in an attempt to brainwash us into believing certain things. That, and it protects you against mind control from the aliens. Mind control? It's more common than you think. I need to go get me a hat. I can't believe a girl is going to be in my house. She's kind of cute too. And I think I know her from somewhere. I'm convinced she looks so familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. A girl in my house. <laughs> a real live breathing girl. What will my mom think? I don't know. I call dibs. But you can't call dibs on a girl. Oh, you can totally call dibs on a girl. Well, I saw her first, so I have dibs. Oh, you have to call it first. That's not fair, Gil. His wife's not fair. Gil, your girlfriend is here. She's not, not my girlfriend. girlfriend. Sorry, sorry, boys. Didn't mean to embarrass you. We're not embarrassed. Goodbye, no. mom. Is there anything I can get you guys? Food? Drinks? No. Mom. I can make cookies. Chocolate chip? Of course, sweetie. Well, we're gonna need milk with them. I'll get right on it. <laughs> Your mom's really nice. <laughs> She's... <laughs> okay. I see that. Can we start this meeting already, guys? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the Alien Abductees Club. Or as I like to call it, AA. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a new name. Okay, we can discuss that later. Our first order of business today is to welcome our newest member. Hello. Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Gil. And I'm Artie. I know. You're Arthur Artie Martin Williams. Born in San Diego, California, 19 Virgo. Was top of his class in high school, but now he's a computer science major and an astronomy ma minor in college. He got into his first choice. Well, he's actually an overachiever. And you're Alan Gilbert King. Goes by nickname Gil, 18, also born in San Diego, California, Pisces. 
he didn't get into his top choice like Artie, but he is an aeronautical engineer major. No minor. He was spelling bee champion three years in a row and vice president of the AV club. Meaning, he's smart, but he often falls into his best friend's shadow. Um, hey, Sam, I don't think it's- I do not live in Artie's shadow! Kill, kill, kill. Oh, it's, it's not okay. okay. She stalked us. She's a stalker. You're a stalker. Oh, public information online. There's nothing stopping me from doing a little research. I mean, you're both strangers. You could have tried to kill me. <laughs> okay, let's calm down. Uh, no, 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 no. I vote Sam be removed from the club effective immediately. I'm sorry, Gil. Look, we all have our issues. Don't be mad that I called you out on yours. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's calm down. We, we're not kicking Sam out. He'll just calm down. It, and Sam, keep some observations to yourself, okay? Okay. I do not live in Artie's shadow. Gil! Okay! All right, let's move on then. Yeah, I don't know how to catch these bastards. You can't just catch an alien. We don't have the proper equipment to either you know, capture or store them. Then let's go get some. Yeah. Let me just pull hundreds of thousands of dollars out my ass. We'll get right on that. How about we start with something a little easier? Maybe an icebreaker. Artie, I have known you since kindergarten. Okay, Gil, but Sam doesn't know either of us. She and seems to know quite a bit. So I thought it was a good way to get things going. Fine. Whatever. All right. Since this is a club about aliens, let's talk about our experiences with aliens. Fine. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Set the scene. It's a little past three on a cold, cold November morning in 2014. I am in my room studying vigorously for a chemistry test. Outside, a storm has just ceased, but there's a light drizzle that still lingers in the air. The trees are still Not wrapping lightly. Not a novel, please. Fine. There were flashing lights, and it felt like there was an earthquake, and I woke up in my neighbor's yard, soaking wet. Yada, 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 don't know how I got there. Are you happy now? Yes. Thank you. Sheesh. Okay. It was a few weeks ago, and I was sleeping in my bed, when I awoke to a bright light, and I can't remember much else after that. But then, the next thing I knew, I woke up sunburned in the desert in nothing but my underwear, not even shoes. I had to walk home. It took me three hours. Yeah, I was naked too, except for my underwear. Right, right. And ever since then, I've had this small scar on my wrist that's always itchy. And I can't remember where it came from. Sam? Well, I was really little, and my mom was cooking dinner, and we thought we felt an earthquake, and there was flashing lights, and so she told me to get under the table, and then she went outside to go check it out, and I never saw her again, and her body appeared in a riverbank three weeks later, and when the cops found her, there was no blood or anything. Her body was in near-perfect condition, nearly naked, too, and the cops couldn't pinpoint a cause of death. It was aliens. I just know it. Sam, I'm so sorry about your mom. It was a long time ago, so. All right, I need to use the restroom. Um. Yeah, you can have her. You're the worst. She is so weird. She's eccentric. I don't want her in my house anymore. We can't just kick her out, Gil. No, no, no. Technically, she wasn't even abducted by aliens. Her mom was, which makes her a fake and technically not even qualified to be in this club. Gil, this club is not solely for people who have been abducted by aliens. It's for anybody who has ever had an, an alien encounter. And be more sensitive. Her mom died. This is the alien abductee club, not the 
I was almost an alien abductee club. Dude, what's your problem? You've been acting so weird the last few months. <laughs> no. There is nothing wrong with me. Just open your eyes, Artie. Shh, there is something clearly not right about her, and you can't see that just because you might be in love with her. I am not in love with her. Yeah, whatever you say. But look, when she gets back, let's just say something came up and she needs to go home. No, I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but why not? Why not? Because she's the first person to believe in me. I believe you! It's not the same. Well, I'm glad to know that my opinion means so little to you. That's not what I meant. And you no, know no, it. no, 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 no. I, I, I get it. We go to different colleges now. You, you're moving on with your life to bigger and better things, and I'm still stuck here with my mom. Gil, you're my best friend, and you know it. You always have my back. It's just, she's the first outsider to believe in me, and it just feels really good. Not to mention you have a pretty big boner for her. I do not have a boner for her! Uh, yeah, Here are the cookies! Mom! Not now! Oh. I'm sorry, sweetie. <laughs> I'll leave. Mom, just wait. Yes, sweetie. Leave the cookies. Oh. Okay. You need to be nicer to your mom. Oh my god, she knows I love her. Does she? Yes. And anyway, we're not talking about my mom here. Sam is a freak. We're freaks. It's not the same. Not the same how? Uh, her mom died? And that makes her a freak how? I don't know. Exactly. She isn't much more different than us. She's just, I don't see what the big deal is. Okay. Maybe she hurt our feelings. My feelings! Okay, your feelings. But Gil, we've all had experiences. Sam's is just a little different than ours. But this club is about coming together, despite what others might think, and maybe finding some answers in what happened to us. I thought you liked the fact that she believed in you. Okay. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. Oh, I'm just repeating what you said to me not moments ago. Gil, stop. Sam is a nice girl. If maybe a little weird, but we're weird too. So stop being such a douche. Stop being such a douche. Gil! Hey. Oh, did I interrupt something? Yes! No. Okay. Oh, are those cookies? Yeah, so we were kind of thinking that maybe it's getting a little late and we should kind of just go home. No, we were not thinking we that. We haven't even talked about how we're gonna prove aliens exist. Exactly. I don't think that's super important. What are we even doing here? Okay, fine. And get your feet off the couch, please, or else my mom will have an aneurysm. Okay then. On to the second order of How business. How to catch an alien? Could you not interrupt him? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, him. it's all right, Sam. Gil's just in a shitty mood. Hmm. Yeah, a real shitty mood. But no, we're not going to catch an alien yet. I thought we could discuss some famous abductions. But that's boring. I mean. I thought it was... Look what you did, you hurt his feelings! I didn't mean to! Look, I just don't think talking about famous abductions would be fun or beneficial, you know? We should be putting our heads together, coming up with better solutions. 
when are you going to just get it through your head that we can't just catch an alien? We don't have the proper resources, as I've explained before. And anyway, Artie is president. It's his club, so he's gonna run it however he wants to. Then what are you doing here? Uh, I'm the vice president? I'm here to protect Artie's vision. But can't we get creative? Isn't that what clubs are for? Putting our heads together, coming up with better solutions. Well, clubs are more of a bonding experience than anything else. Well, that's lame. Well, you're lame. Oh, real mature. Real <laughs> mature. You know, ever since I got here, you've been a real dick. Well, you kind of started How it. How did I start? Guys, guys, stop fighting. We aren't solving anything. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Sam? I think you're right. <laughs> what? Phil, let me not finish. Want to control you like that? Control me? She says one thing, and all of a sudden you're just gonna change your mind hey, like that? I'm not controlling him. Look, I had one suggestion that he liked, and <laughs> so you just have a lot of pent up anger issues, don't you? Oh, I do. Lot <laughs> of anger issues, Gil. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out I of mean, this. Because, Artie, I have spent months listening to you go on and on about your abduction, man. You have become so obsessed with it and aliens and proving they exist to the point where I had to lie just so I could wait, feel wait, like- Wait, 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 wait. You lied? Ah, oh, why would you lie about that? I just, I lied because I just, uh, I just, I wanted to have something in common to just talk about again. I mean, it's like I don't even exist anymore. You know nothing about my life. You don't even care to ask anymore. And so yeah, I made all that stuff up so you'd actually listen to what I had to say again. And then, you were excited about me and my life, and it just, yeah, it was fucking stupid, and I'm so sorry. But you have to understand from my perspective. No, I can't believe you would do that. Artie, come on. This obsession is getting out of control, man. I'm worried about you, this isn't normal. It's not healthy. No, 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 no. no. This is over. This meeting is over. <laughs> well, fine. Good. Because I was going to leave anyway. You live here. What, are you going to storm off to your room? Exactly. Now, you two, get out of my house. AA has been permanently disbanded. Forever. That was harsh. I'm so sorry you had to see that. It's fine. I'm used to being around people who fight. Your parents? Yeah. When my mom was alive. I'm so sorry, Sam. Honestly, it's fine. Look, I really think you should be listening to what Gil was saying, though. About being obsessed with aliens. I mean, if your friendship is nearly falling apart over it all, maybe it's not worth it. But I saw what I saw. And I felt what I felt. I can't just deny it. It changed me. I'm not saying you can't still believe. I still believe. I'm just not as vocal about it because I know how people are gonna look at me and I know what they're gonna think of me and if I wanna be taken seriously, uh, I know, I, just... I know. I just remember it all so vividly. I know, the bright lights, the ground vibrating, waking up nearly naked, the scar, the, the bloody noses. I the... still have nightmares. You're lucky you never had to experience it firsthand. What? Well, your experience was different. 
because you were never actually abducted. It was your mom. I still remember the touch of cold fingers on my skin. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But it was still just as scary. I just wish I didn't feel so crazy. You're not crazy. You're not, you've just, you've just been through a traumatic experience. And a unique one at that. Look, Artie, Gil is your best friend. And I may not necessarily like him, but he clearly loves you and feels very insecure about your friendship. You should talk to him. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Wait. Wait what? What, what did you say before? About going through a traumatic experience? No, no, no. Before that. Letting it go? I'm confused. No, no, no. About the bloody noses. I said something about bloody noses? I did? Yeah. Oh, well, that's because earlier you probably said something about the, uh... No. I don't think I did. So then how did you know that? I'm sure you mentioned it. I'm actually 99% sure I didn't. Because I didn't even think it was connected to my abduction until now. Well, I know that when they found my mom, there was dried blood from her nose. I probably just assumed that. No, you said they found her body in near perfect condition. No blood or anything. I... 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 So why are you lying to me? Why did you lie to me, Sam? I... Who are you? Who are you really? Artie, please. I'm sorry, I had to lie to you. I didn't want to, but I had to. I knew it. I knew you looked familiar. You're one of them, aren't you? You're an alien. Yes. <gasps> but hear me out. Were you there? When they, when they abducted me and they experimented on me? Yeah, yes, I was there, but... I I, we didn't cut you open or stick tubes in you or anything like that. We just... That's just mainstream media bullshit that the government uses to feed mindless idiots, especially right-wing Republicans. But no, we didn't do any experiments on you, I swear. So then what did you do to me? I personally didn't do a thing to you. What did you do to me? Please, stop yelling. Tell me! Calm down. Artie, I'm just going to need you to calm down. Listen. This is going to be hard for you to process, but basically, we're using you as a shield. There are others who are threatening the very existence of my species. Uh, I don't want to be used as your shield. Well, you are, and that microchip. Yeah, there's a microchip in that cut in your wrist. There are others threatening me. They're out to get my entire species. We had to put the information all on that chip. Get, get it out of me! I can't! Not now, but you just... You're going to have to trust me. Why would I trust you? Because as of right now, I'm the only one who can help you.